Boju Zikwa Nodan Ants Indigena Kaz, Migizi and Dodem, Odena Zaganaganing Ojibwe Anishinaabe Kwe, Ogichida Kwe in Dao. Hello, my name is Siobhan Marks, and I'm a water walker of the Three Fires Medewan Lodge. There's a prophecy that an ounce of water will cost the same as an ounce of gold. As Anishinaabe women, we know that we are the protectors of the water. When a grandmother of our Medewan Lodge, Josephine Mandaman, heard that in 2001, she was very limited with her resources, but she thought, I can walk. She would take a copper pail. She would carry some of the water that came out of the lake and she would start to walk for that water. She wanted to trace the Ojibwe migration into the Great Lakes. So that water walk began at the St. Lawrence Seaway and walked around all of the Great Lakes. She started out with only $10 in her pocket and her sister Melvina to help her. In time, people caught on. Some would contribute a little money here or there. Some would offer a night's rest or supper, and a great many started to walk with her. Once we pick up the water and we're walking with it, we do not stop, we never go backwards, because our water doesn't stop and it doesn't go backwards. The water must be moving at all times. So many of our water walks take us right through big cities, Detroit for instance. When we come to a stoplight, we will literally walk in a snake-like pattern, keeping an eye on when is it safe to make that crossing, and then we will cross. The only time we stop is at high noon. We actually place the water down on a cloth, and we are supposed to sit on Mother Earth's lap. I've seen Grandma Josephine do this many times. She literally lays down belly to belly with Mother Earth. Every step really is a prayer. You know, the water carries us. We're born of water, we're born into water. Our mothers carry us in our wombs in water. It is our chance to carry her. We end our water walk in ceremony. We take off our shoes. We get right into the body of water with that copper pail. It has been carried by all of us and all of our prayers and our energies and our thoughts and our songs and our tears. It's all been witness to all of it. We return that copper pail of water back to the lake or the river and it's just beautiful. We're trying to honor uh, Mother Earth and her water. All of those waterways, the lakes, the rivers and streams are like her blood vessels. The water is her blood. She gives us life. So many people get up and go about their day and never think about our fresh water. Our belief is that if we can get people to love water like we do, they'll be willing to stand up for it, like we are. Water, we love you, we thank you, we respect you.